So how you will use uh, NCBI and how you will retrieve the proteome and genome. Uh, what basically genome and proteome means, so basically proteome is the entire protein set of a bacteria, uh, if it is a bacteria, okay? And genome is basically the entire genome, entire genes of the uh, specific uh, organism. So there is a specific way and how you will uh, download it in, uh, onto your computer, uh, the complete proteome and the genome of the bacteria. And then you can use these uh, proteomes and these genomes in your different research, uh, uh, research uh, pieces and different research projects, okay? So this is the very specific beginning on mostly of, most of the students uh, retrieve these proteomes and genomes uh, for vaccine development, uh, uh, in silico vaccine development, in silico drug design, computer added drug design. Okay, so uh, different projects are conducted, uh, uh, but the starting point is that you have to download the data. Okay, so uh, let's start there how you will uh, download, retrieve, complete proteome and genome of bacteria. Okay, okay, so let's start with the uh, okay. So first you have to go to the uh, Google and you have to go to the NCBI office, okay? NCBI. Uh, basically the NCBI is the National Center for Biotechnology and Information. Uh, I hope you know it well. Uh, after that you have to just uh, go to the genome, okay? Genome. Now uh, you have to choose your bacteria. For example, if I, uh, if I try Chlamydia cetaci, okay? It's a gram negative bacteria and uh, uh, you have to choose your own one, okay? Uh, after that, you have to click on the search and uh, it will take some time. Now just look here, that, uh, just look here, browse the list, okay? You have to click on the uh, browse the list. So this list, you have to click on the list, okay? After that, uh, uh, by clicking on the list, so it will take some time. And just look here, here is the complete strains of the Chlamydia cetaci, okay? Total, there are 87 strains. If we look here to the filters, okay? So, up till now, there are 87 strains of Chlamydia cetaci, known strains. And 26, uh, 26 strains are completely sequenced, okay? The genome of the 26 strains are completely sequenced. So most of the uh, the students they have to uh, they have to take the complete genome. Okay, that is completely sequenced. Uh, they will use these uh, such type of genomes. Although there are also uh, the the remaining are the partial genomes means that they are not yet completely sequenced. Okay, they are under process. So these are now the 26 strains. Here, uh, uh, here is the Chlamydia cetaci organism name. This is the group, and this is the strain name. And uh, these are basically the assembly and bio project that uh, these are. Uh, this is basically the the organization that has conducted this, conducted the sequence. Okay, so just look here. These uh, black uh, dots. These are completely filled. These are completely black in color. This means that uh, this this. Uh, these are completely sequenced, okay? If we look, uh, if we check on the uh, uh, complete, okay, so uh, just leave it now. So these are now completely sequenced. Now how, what do you have to do? For example, you have to, uh, you are going to download the, this strain, okay? This, uh, the, the complete proteome of this strain. So you will click on it and after that, just look here, this page will appear, this strain will appear. And just look here, download sequences in FASTA format, genome and proteome. So here, this is the complete genome. By clicking on it, uh, it will simply directly download it uh, onto your computer in zip file. And this is the protein, okay, the complete proteome. So uh, just look here, 
uh, it is now completely downloaded if we if we check uh, if we check it so just look here now this is the uh, complete uh, proteome so first we have first we will check the genome okay so first you have to extract it okay uh, uh, just uh, right click on it and extract to gcf uh, extract it and after that we will open it okay so now it is extracted and just look here uh, this is the complete genome uh, wait a minute. Okay. Sorry. Now you have to open it on Notepad. You can use different other uh, tools. Now this is the complete genome of that specific strain. Okay. This is the complete genome of this specific strain that we have selected. Okay. Uh, so just look here. Now this is. Uh, Lamidia citazi strain uh, GIMC 2005 and this is the strain. This is the complete genome and just look here. Having massive amount of nucleotide, okay. So this is basically uh, uh, it is having 14,000 plus uh, nucleotide sequence, okay. And if we look here to the uh, proteome, so uh, you can do it just like this. Just click on the uh, right click on it to first extract it and after that uh, okay. now this is the complete uh, proteome okay uh, this is the four four nogen synthase this is the sequence of this protein after that this is a sequence of another protein this is the translocating NADH uh, reductase of unit A and this is the complete proteome of uh, that specific strand of the chlamydia cetacea. Okay, so then uh, you uh, you have to uh, according to your examiner, you have to download uh, all the uh, all the strands in this such type of way, and after that you have to proceed your uh, research. Okay, so this was all about your today's uh, 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 lecture video and how you have to retrieve the complete proteome and genome of bacteria using NCBI, okay? So, hope you have understood it well. If you have any questions, so just let me know in the comment box. I will answer you there, okay? Thank you very much. God bless you.